Hey everyone, welcome back to Brian's Mysteries and Adventures on Trail. Today we will be talking about a very recent case, the disappearance of Jim Shadid, who was 79 years old at the time of his disappearance. He just recently disappeared on September 3rd of this year, 2023, near Elbert Creek, which is in the San Juan Mountains of Colorado. Of course, I'm going to have various maps up. This is a general map to give you an idea of the location in the United States where these mountains are. This is a more close-up map of the area. Jim was very, very experienced in this area. He had spent 20 years of his life not only hiking and hunting, but also skiing. He was a lover of the outdoors. This particular trip, he was out scouting for an elk hunting trip. His original plan, which he told his wife and his friends, was only supposed to be roughly a 90-minute round trip. Unfortunately, he didn't have his cell phone with him. He did have a radio with him, which the last reported contact was roughly 11 a.m. on September 3rd of 2023. These are some pictures of the area in and around where he was at the time. Jim is roughly 5'6", 140 pounds. He was thought to be wearing a safari-style hat, probably khaki pants. Unfortunately, he wasn't carrying any backpack, or it was thought that he was not carrying any backpack at the time. So he had no overnight gear or anything that could possibly help him survive through several days of being in the wilderness. As I stated, he was very familiar with this area. His favorite ski area was Purgatory Resort, which is pictured here in this map. I also have a picture of the entrance to this ski area, which was very close to in and around the area that he disappeared that day. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of information on this case because we can't ping a cell phone. He only had his radio with him. These are some various maps up of where he possibly could have been and the time it would have taken him to travel this various route. But as you can see by some of these maps, if he got stuck, which according to reports was very close to Line Canyon, which as you can see by these topo maps would be a very dangerous situation. It's almost like a you'd be boxed in and trapped if you got disoriented. It is unclear why Jim decided not to bring extra supplies with him or his cell phone. It's possible that because he was so familiar with this area and terrain and had spent over 20 years hiking, hunting, skiing, just exploring this region, he felt comfortable enough with it but unfortunately, as we all know, things do happen. This is a picture of Jim with one of the fish he caught at one point. This is another picture of the area where he was thought to have been and gone missing. After he failed to return in the due time, after he had spoken to his wife on the radio, La Plata County Search and Rescue was notified. They were immediately dispatched. As you can see, there's a lot of very steep inclines. There's a lot of waterways in this area. They brought in various search dogs. They worked tirelessly day and night. After that, they brought in more teams from the surrounding areas. According to the website that the family set up, a Lifeline helicopter was dispatched along with multiple people on horseback as well as multiple bloodhound teams. These are some pictures of the various search and rescue operations in the area. They also brought in hotshot firefighters. Now, if you're not familiar with those, I'll have a link in the description to a video that discusses what those are. The Montezuma search and rescue team also got involved in the search as well as other search and rescue counties in the area. They all came out and gave all their best efforts to try and figure out what could have happened to this man that was so familiar with the area. Some of you may be saying, well, he was 79 years old, something that could have happened. Well, let me just tell you, my dad is 79 years old. He still drives almost four hours round trip every day to work. He is 
younger looking than me almost so you can't use that as an excuse this man was an amazing outdoorsman these are a lot of the different search efforts and rescue teams that were out searching for him they put in hours and hours of work trying to discover any type of clue unfortunately like we've already talked about he wasn't carrying a backpack he had no other belongings on him this is another poster of the missing description of him he was last seen near little elk creek trail and albert creek road near line canyon these are some of the bloodhound dogs that they eventually brought in because after a certain amount of time this search and rescue ultimately turned into a recovery mission they believe that because of the time that had passed they believe that this was no longer going to be possible that he was still alive to date no remains no evidence no clues have been found of course the family has expressed their willingness to keep up the search they lovingly refer to him as papa which i find so endearing and i just really feel for this family this man was just a wonderful human being and did so much throughout his life, not only with his explorations, but with his family and his friends. It is just a, a very great loss. There was apparently gunshots heard, according to the chief of La Pata County Sheriff's Office, heard on September 7th that was in and around the area of where Jim went missing. We can't take this for anything because it was the beginning of hunting season who knows people could have just been shooting guns off into the air nothing of course can be confirmed to date one thing i will say that really just touched my heart was something that the family posted on their website which i'll have a link in the description but they said that if papa did die in these mountains he died in the area which he loved the most the area that he just felt at home and at place with and at peace with and in fact if he did pass away somehow in and around these mountains it is good that he died doing something that he loved i want to dedicate this video to jim his family his wife his friends all the search and rescue efforts that have continued to look for him I wish you all the best and I hope that you find closure soon. I want to thank you all for watching as always. Thank you all for all your wonderful comments, your support. I really appreciate everything, criticism, comments, critical feedback, anything. Special thank you to co.ag for providing the background music. Hopefully I will see you all in the next one take care. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking with me till the end. I hope everyone is having a great and long weekend. If you do get a great long weekend, I hope everyone is doing well. If you have any case suggestions for me, please submit them to the email address I will have listed in the description. As well, if you have any calendar pics of any of your adventures over the summer or any time, please submit them so I can get working on the calendar for next year's merch calendar. I would really appreciate that. Six of the months are going to go from pictures that you guys submit, and six of the months are going to go from pictures I submit. I am trying to work on all the cases that everyone suggests. I'm doing them in order, so please be patient with me. I appreciate all of your feedback. If you'd like to donate to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. All my info is in the description. We are currently trying to get a thermal imager for our team, but they are quite expensive, so any donation would be of great support, and I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. See you next time.